So today is a little bit of some past information again. Remember this chart that we so desire? Oh yeah. So we're going to do what's called ionic and net ionic equations based on precipitates. And as you may recall, soluble means what again? When it's soluble, then if you put an ionic compound in there, it will dissociate. What does not soluble mean? PPT, so we form a solid. Okay? And we'll come back to this once we do our example. But just to bring back your memories of this fun chart. And yes, you will get this on Friday for the quiz. That's right. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah, I want to do the example. How's that? Or practice problem. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, first of all, write out the whole balanced equation. It's kind of like stoichiometry, except only doing step one, sadly. I know you want to do everything. So we write out our balanced equation, and then we want to find out where the precipitate is on the right-hand side. And we will have precipitates for these because you're doing ionic equation and ionic equation. So these will all have something happening. The ionic equation, what we're going to do, like in the homework class night, is we're going to break these down into ions. So like the silver nitrate breaks down into silver ions and nitrate ions. And the potassium chloride, the other ion or compound, breaks down into potassium ions and chlorine ions. Everything on the left side will always break apart into ions. On the right side, one of those will form a PPT. Then what we're going to do is we're going to combine those together, but we don't have to show them like what we did on the homework. You can actually go from here to here and then show your um, ions as such. So we have our silver ions, nitrate ions, potassium ions, chlorine ions. And this type of reaction up here, what kind of reaction is that? Single replacement? Double replacement, good. So the partners are going to switch, which means that the metals are going to switch partners here. So silver is now with the chlorine, and the potassium is now with the nitrate. Make sure that the, it goes metal, not metal when doing that. Just a nice little refresher there. And then what we're going to do after that is, once we find out who our PPT is, then we're going to write what's called the net ionic equation, which shows us the equation for only the precipitate that's being formed. And this will should make sense when we do the example here. Were there any blanks that you didn't get? Everybody got the blanks? All right, spectator ions. Spectator ions are simply that. They're little voyeurs of chemistry. In other words, they're watching, but they're really not doing anything. So like when I look at, say, potassium ions here, they look the same on the other side. If I look at chlorine ions on this side, oops, sorry, not chlorine. If I look at nitrate ions on the left side, it looks the same on the right. However, if I take a look at, say, the silver, the silver is an ion over here, but it changes into a solid on the right. So there's a change. So the net ionic equation shows the things that change. So does chlorine change from an ion to a compound? Yeah, so that would go in the net ionic equation. Again, as I said earlier, this is not difficult. It is tedious. But easy points. <laughs> All right. Let's do a practice problem. Okay. Well, there, there's an example there, but we don't care about that. So let's look at practice problem number two. Let's open that up. All right. So practice problem number two, it has on here, it says, uh, write an ionic equation for the reaction that occurs when equal volumes of a five molar solutions of magnesium nitrate and sodium carbonate are mixed. Also write the net ionic equation. And one last thing. Identify the spectators. Now, I had this boxed in, but anytime you see an amount, we don't care. All right? So we're not doing any math with this. This is simply write an ionic equation and then a net ionic equation. So don't freak out and go, what are we going to do with that molarity? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, you can cross that off. However, where we see magnesium nitrate and sodium carbonate, those are the things that we care about. So let's go ahead and, and again, this first step that I'm going to show is highly recommended. I won't grade it, but it'll make things a lot more easier, or a lot easier for 
uh, the other things. So magnesium nitrate, magnesium, and how do you write nitrate? NO3, and we'll come back and balance the charges here in a second. And it's reacting with sodium carbonate. So sodium is Na carbonate. Good. One of your ten poly. So still remember the ten polyatomics and the charges. If you forget, it's on that table. Um, so let's write the charges first. So what's the charge on magnesium? Plus two. Nitrate is negative one. So that means that we need two nitrates. Good. So again, we need two draw the parentheses. And then the sodium has a plus one carbonate minus two. So what do we need to do there? Two sodiums. Good. Don't put parentheses around because it's not a poly. All right. And then we are going to form what? It's double replacement. So what are we going to make? Sodium nitrate, okay, so sodium nitrate, and what was the other one? Magnesium carbonate, good. Okay, and then, of course, the charges are the same. The charges will not change from the left side to the right side, which is kind of nice. Okay, all right, so there we have our correct products. We have a metal to non-metal, another metal to non-metal, so those are written correctly. Uh, let's balance out the number of atoms on both sides. So how can we do that? Good. So put a two right there. That's what I was using. Dang it. Okay. So we have a two in front of the sodium nitrate. So it's balanced. Now the next thing to do is find out which of these is our PPT. So let's go back to our table. Unless you have it memorized. Okay, so the first one, nitrate, sodium nitrate. So all nitrates are soluble. So that's a that's one, especially if you get into AP Chem, you're going to see, oh, all nitrates, chlorates, uh, those are always soluble. Now we don't have chlorate on here, but we'll talk about that later. So all nitrates are soluble. Soluble means clear, so it stays dissociated or dissolved. Good. And then the other one was magnesium carbonate. So carbonate's down here. So is magnesium an alkali ion? Is it, or is it in group 1A? No, it's not lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, or cesium. But it is in group 2A. So it's not in, it's not the first row. So is magnesium any other positive ion? Yeah, it has to be. So that means it's not soluble. So hang on here. So since it's not soluble, that means that the magnesium carbonate forms a PPT. So come back over. And probably not a bad idea. Go ahead and write PPT. Once you've identified the PPT, especially in this reaction, you don't have to do that again in, for that reaction. Okay. So that kind of cleans things up a little bit. All right, so now we're finally going to start writing this. So the ionic equation, and this is just, again, this first step here that I have up here is a recommendation. I would highly recommend that because it gives you how many total atoms, balances everything out, tells you who your PPT is. And then from here, we write out the ionic equation. On this side, everybody's broken down. Okay. So on the reactant side, everybody's going to be broken down into ions. So what we'll do is we'll write our ion. So magnesium, so Mg plus 2. And how many nitrates do we have? Three. Two of those. So make sure that you write it like that. So we will not have parentheses on the left-hand side. So it's two nitrates, not parentheses NO3, two. Okay. Big difference there. Uh, the sodium, we have two sodiums. So use a coefficient there. So we don't have Na2, but we have 2 Na plus 1. And we must show our charges. Okay, Have to show the charges in the ionic equation. Makes sense. And then we have a carbonate. Okay. So there is all the ions broken down from our reactants. On the product side, the sodium nitrate we said was what? Soluble or not soluble? Soluble. So it stays the same. So it's still, oops. 
put two on there. Just to... So we have two Na pluses, and we also have two nitrates. So let's stop right there. Has sodium changed from here to here? That's a spectator. Anything that stays the same. In other words, it's an ion. There's two of them. The charge is plus one. That's, an, that's a spectator. The nitrates also have not changed. So those are our two spectators. All right. Let's finish this off. And then we can keep, since this forms a precipitate, the magnesium carbonate forms a precipitate, we are going to keep it together. Okay. And you don't have to circle it and write PPT again because you already identified it up here. So, and you're going to start noticing that, hey, I'm running out of space. The ionic equation shows that, whoops, I want to do that, shows the equation that only forms the PPT. So I'm writing this out. We're only going to include that which forms the PPT. So if you want to start and go this way and go, oh, well, I'm making magnesium carbonate because that's my PPT, then ask yourself, well, what makes that? Well, we have magnesium that has a plus two charge and carbonate with a minus two charge. Now, I will say this. Um, maybe the, ion, or the ionic compound looks like this, but the order in which you wrote these might have been something that looked like this because maybe the carbonate compound was first. Is this legal to write? Here, let me finish it first. What I have written in red, is that would that be considered legal for your net ionic equation? Absolutely. Because the plus just means and. So either way is fine. But make sure that when you write your compound, that was what was written first. Questions on that? Homework is the twos. Yeah. Why we leave it together over here? Okay. The main reason is because when we go back to the charter, since it is not soluble, so the carbonate with the magnesium is going to form a precipitate. So anytime you got a precipitate, you're making a solid. So we're going to leave those together. And it deals with that one. Any others? The twos are your homeworks. They're not difficult. They're tedious. Don't take pictures of this stuff. 